Welcome back, everybody. This is Carrie, and I have my friend Brenda here today. Please welcome her. Hey, how's everybody doing? <laughs> and we are fixing to make some coin envelopes. Still washed out a little bit. Um, some people call them policy envelopes. Why and do they call them policy envelopes, Carrie? No. Somebody please tell Brenda why these are called policy envelopes. Yeah. I'm sure somebody out there in YouTube hey, land knows. If y'all know why they call them that, hey, leave us a message, okay? It might be coin envelopes for most people. But anyway, okay, just simple, very simple. Mm -hmm. We're going to make our little circles. We're going to do our little brads. And this is how they close. So let's get started. These have already been cut, but I am using the envelope punch board, and I have a piece of wallpaper that I have cut out in five by five. Okay, you know, that's something I wouldn't have thought of using is wallpaper. some wallpaper. That's yeah, a that's, that's a great idea. So if you have an envelope punch board, this the lighting is really going to be bad. If you have an envelope punch board, you can look on it, and you want to make a two by three and a half gift card. So you cut your paper at five by five and you score it at two. If you don't have an envelope punch board, you can make these by yourself. But anyway. this is very handy and very easy. And you haven't used yours yet. You said no, I bought, I used it that one time when we was together and then I got one. Y'all need to tell her to use these. <laughs> but line your paper up at two inches. I'm fixing to let you do it, okay? Ready? Right. Line it up at two inches. Take your score tool. You punch and you score. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to line this one up, but not at two inches anymore. We're lining up with that line right there. Mm -hmm. And you punch and you score. Okay, oh, there wow. you go. I'm going to let you do that. Okay. Let's right. see if Brenda can do it, y'all. I want to see if I have lined it up with your line. Okay, you're good. And you're good. I not wear my glasses? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this may take a moment, folks. Stay right here with us. <laughs> and there. you can punch and score. Oh, you I didn't punch. punch. You can punch now. That's okay. Punch. Okay. Good deal. Don't bump uh, the laptop now. Or we're okay. in trouble. All right. Go again. One more time. All the way over there. Five. Yeah. Find the line. There you go. Punch. See how easy this is, guys. I love these envelope punch boards. They are she's, so much she's fun. She's actually a good teacher. Well, thank you. I appreciate you that. Care. that. Okay. So here we have our square of envelope. All right, so I'm going to let you fold all four corners in. Okay. Um, we need, we're going to need that round punch over there, too. This one? The pink one. Pink and white one. Yes. Good deal. Good Thank deal. you, darling. There you go. Oh, I'm folding it. I'm not folding it into the pretty color. Okay, did you get it all folded? No. Good job. I'm a Good job. slower than you are. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to take a piece of wallpaper and it can be coordinating it can be a actually this one is the exact same color i kind of like them to contrast okay karen my friend karen is here too and she's going to get us another piece of wallpaper that contrast so all i do when i make these is i cut just a little line there there and there just to flatten them off see on the samples all right, so here's how we've cut just a little bit. You, you do don't, it on three of them. On three sides only. Okay, you have your sister Turn that over, there. maybe it'll be easier for them to see. There you go. So see, we leave the top pointed and just cut, a, and you say, well, how much do you cut off? Well, you cut off enough that when you close it, it still overlap, everything overlaps. All right, so you just okay. want to, just, just a little something, something like that. Yeah, that's good. So it's just okay. a, a little triangle. What is it? It's not even a half inch okay now we're using art glitter glue you can use any glue you want to thank you karen so you're going to fold in your flaps don't matter which one you start with put some glue there fold that up put some glue there but before you glue your flaps down this is what i always forget to do you want to make your little circles okay so punch out four circles oh for you me. make your own we oh, make wow. our own circles we sure do and you can do this out of any cardstock, guys. It does not have to be um, wallpaper. It can be anything. Okay. All right, so now we have four circles, and punch. they get caught up in there, so we're going to take them out. And you're going to glue two circles together and then glue the other two together. Okay. And you can make them facing each other if you want to. I see three. I don't see. Oh, there it is. 
So go ahead and glue those together. <laughs> and then you're going to be deciding while she's gluing, we're going to decide where are they going to go. So close your lid down. And this is the best glue. What did you call this? Art one? glitter glue. I love it. It dries very fast. It does. you got to work kind of quickly. So if you fold your flap down, you know that one of your little circles is going to be here. So you want to make sure you put the other one down far enough. So you can just kind of eyeball it or just kind of, if I had my um, pokey tool, I would poke a hole right well, there. What did you do with your pokey tool? I didn't bring it, but I'll tell you what, I'll do it with the crocodile. It'll work. So that's, I'm going to punch that's a little a monster. hole. It is a monster. I'm going to punch a little hole right there. And then you're going to take these. I'm going to do one of them and let you do okay. the other. Just kind of center that with the crocodile. We just want a hole there. Okay. So go ahead and do that one. And I do it on this one right here? Yes, on the one eighth inch. got to remember, I'm left-handed, you know. know. I can tell you all this stuff. I need a pencil. Right. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah. Now, Brenda punched hers off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was, I told you I was left-handed. It's okay. We can still use it, but let's just punch two more. Okay. We'll punch two more, and that way we'll know it'll be right. <laughs> Mine's not in the center either. Look at it. It's okay. I mean, it, it's still doable. It's still doable. All right, now, I don't have a pencil, but I'm just making a little mark where I wanted to punch that hole. Y'all can, thank you, Karen. She's on, she is the bottom of here. So, I want to show y'all what I did. These are the two flaps that go in. <laughs> did I line it up? Oops, almost didn't. All right, and this one goes up. Now, one of the circles is going to connect these two together. All right, so we need a Brad. Hey, Brad. And I want y'all to comment on Brenda's accent because people tell oh, me really? all the time that I have, I love your southern accent. I'm like, way do you meet my friend Brenda. You think I have a southern accent? I do not have an accent. <laughs> she does not have an accent, Which side do you use? The one right there, okay. quarter of an inch. Okay, okay. Now, let's see if I can do it. And your this is your circle. So right. That's, okay. I didn't know if you knew. No. It's okay. It's good. Well, y'all look. Y'all look. She did it. She did it. There ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. Now, you want to, and the reason I didn't glue this together, see, I want to get my hand up in there. So we're going to put, and I'm using these little flower brads. You can use anything you want to. I'm going to go in this hole, in this hole, in this hole. So I'm in all three, and then try your best to open it. That's called really good coordination. <laughs> Try to open it back up in there. If you got a fingernail, got it. Okay. All right. Now you can go ahead and stick a little glue under there and stick a little glue here. Okay. okay. And in the meantime, I can do we'll that. get ready. And if you're using regular cardstock or paper or something like that, you can ink your edges if you want to make a vintage look. I just skipped that step for the purpose of the video. All right, and we're going to have to punch one more hole. Okay. Good job. I glue both right. of those. Okay. Now, this flap's going to go down, so this one's going to go up here. Okay. So we need a hole somewhere about kind of in the center, if we can, about right there. Okay? So all you're going to do, here you go, Brenda. Put, put the brad through the circle and through the hole. Brad. Now, while she's doing that, I'm going to take some... And you can use anything. <clears throat> this can be twine or Baker's twine is real cute. But I'm just going to use what I've got with me. And this happens to be um, embroidery floss. And I don't know if exactly how long I'm going to need it. I'm just kind of guessing. So yeah, I've got about, that. what is that, 12 inches? You did yeah. it. Ta-da. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just tie this guy around there in a double knot. Okay. You're almost there. So once you get it tied around there, then all you do with the rest of it is bring it down, wrap it around the bottom circle, back around the top circle. And you can see I cut this one like just a little a bit too eight. short. You can figure eight it or you can go straight. It, okay. it doesn't matter. I kind of like the figure eights. But when I send it to somebody, they're like, I don't know how to open it. So sometimes I don't figure eight it. But see, that one was a little short. That's the reason I'm making that one, this one longer. And... I've got these little jewels 
I just like to have a little bit of weight on knot. the end of my string. Yeah, pull it real tight pull it in real there. Tight in there. Okay. There you go. Then trim off double. your little. Sh yeah. Okay. Do a double knot. Trim off your little edge, and I'm going to take one of these little. Um, and you're going to start making the pretty. <laughs> I just got a little jump little ring pretty on jewel. it. All I'm going to do. Like you do on all your stuff. Wait a minute. I don't have to open that. I'm going to leave that closed. Right, okay. Okay. Good Look. job. Do Y'all see Brenda's in the love? She did it. Ta-da! Yay, okay. me. So we're going to take the end of that and just thread it through here. Tie that in a knot. Cut off the excess. Okay. Well, don't cut it till we wrap it. We'll see how many times we need to wrap it, and then we'll know exactly how much to cut off. So there's my finished one. This is a another one. Knot. Yeah, just a double knot. This is another one, <clears throat> excuse me, that I started, and I thought, I was like, oh, i got to get my circle in there, so I stopped right there. So I, I'm going to do this. So you can see they can be any okay. size. Let's see. And you said I can do, like, a figure eight? Yeah, ever how you want to wrap it doesn't Let's matter. It yeah. Figure eight it maybe twice. Ain't it cute? I hope my hands are out of the way so y'all can see what I'm doing. You're fine. And if you want it shorter, you know, you could cut it shorter, but there you go. And then, yeah, I cut a little bit of that tail off. So that is our policy, okay. envelope, <clears throat> policy envelope or coin envelope or whatever you want to call it. And you can finish decorating it any way you want to. Remember now, if y'all know what a policy envelope is or the reason for it. Uh, why they call it, it, yeah, why do they call it policy? Because sometimes people call it coin envelope. So if you know, mm -hmm. let us know. Yeah, let us know. You'll enlighten us for the day. Okay, guys. Thanks, Brenda, for helping me. Thanks, Carrie, for allowing me to be with you. <laughs> Have Bye. a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.